So we've heard almost most of this album already on the channel. Not under pressure, Parallels. I'm talking about Bobby Tarantino. I'm talking about this album right here, Bobby Tarantino 3. Let's get into it. We got Logic Intro 2. Hey. Yeah, yeah, check it. Uh, check it, check it, yo. All right, it's baby. like lo-fi boom bap. Yeah, some more. Hey, he's not gonna, he's not gonna rap, right? Hey, yo. It, he's not gonna rap. It's just gonna be him saying he's about to rap and then never raps. That's why he's trolling us. And that you, you, you. Anybody remind me of uh, Usher? See the thing about you. Hey, hey, check it. Hey, check it. Listen. I, <laughs> I can't believe you're drinking a Coke before noon. What if Coke is like my coffee? Hurry in for the new $1 small drink deal at McDonald's. So I definitely have to uh, get Spotify Premium. <laughs> So really the track is only 11 songs, maybe only 10 songs because this stupid shit right here is 49 seconds. And out of the 10 songs, we've heard four of them. So really we're only listening to six tracks. We're gonna listen to the songs in order. So we're going into vaccine. Check it, listen, I'm just trying to fuck it. I did. I said I did like this song when it came out because I like the I like the chanting nature of it and the repetitive nature of like the trap sound. Yeah, 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 yep, 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 yep. I like this one. The ironic part about that bar is he repeated heat twice and then he repeated no need to repeat twice. And you spend yours in all these places when I'm on tour. When they talking that shit, I just blow it off. When they talking that shit, I just show them love. Yeah, I remember liking Vaccine. I remember it. And yes, the album artwork is so fire because it's like multiple meanings. Bobby Tarantino 2 was him and his ex-wife driving. And then he crashed that car in Bobby Tarantino 3 and he died, meaning that he's coming back from fucking uh, retirement. It's a dope ass meaning all the way. The synth wave feel with trap together is fire. All right, so Vaccine's a dope track. I liked intro, even though it's trolly, you know, especially as he started to rap at the very end and then it cuts into Vaccine. That's that's tight. I forgot what I rated Vaccine. It's probably like a seven, if I'm not, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, Get Up is next. We're, we're gonna blow through these first four because we've heard them all already. Oh, yeah. I remember this one too. I like when he says, y'all say what y'all want, but I'm gonna get up. Like, it doesn't matter what you say about my rhymes. It doesn't matter the way you critique the albums in the past. I'm still gonna get up. Reminds me of Supermarket. It's like Supermarket. This has, get up has like under pressure logic and Supermarket combined into one. You know what I'm saying? Bitch, I'm a get up, get up. Yeah, that boom bap was crazy. Super hard. Families are rarity where I come from. I like this logic. People are going to say that they don't like this song. They don't like vaccine. I fuck with this. I don't have to get lyrical miracle from Bobby all the time. Because if, if he did do that all the time, he would eventually have stuff to run out of. And then we would get weak bars. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want, I would rather get this and then strong ass bars on other tracks. He's just having a good time on the mic and it's clear. Thinking about the things that I've seen. I'm thinking about the American dream. The clap is always perfect in Bobby's album. Show me the light, that is what I call homies for life. Hey, down, but I get up. Yeah, that's clean, bro. This is only my second time hearing this song, by the way. I only heard it on the reaction and this one. And now that I'm hearing it the second time, I like it even more than I liked it the first time. It's a vibe. That's what it is. He's not trying to be crazy. He's not trying to be crazy lyrical. We're just vibing. We're having a good time. Driving to work at night with get up sometimes. That's what I'm saying, Slick. It's like a solid, it's a solid track. All right, next up, my way. Again, we've heard this one. If y'all want to see my first reaction, it is live on YouTube. Just type in the song title and type in the third earner after. I'm going to do it my way for the day to day. I'm going to do it my way. I fuck with this album. I fuck with this song too. Again, only my second time hearing it. I purposely didn't re-listen to any of the songs that I did in case they were on the album. I honestly didn't hate this that much. I just wish he said more. I agree, cool. But I also think that the Bobby Tarantino projects, they're not exactly like, they're not conceptual projects. It's just like him doing whatever he wants to do. Bobby Tarantino for me is just kind of a mixture of 
whatever t- whatever he feels like making. So I fuck with it just because we're vibing, you know? I just mean less repetitive, but yeah, true. The chorus is repetitive, but the, the melody is solid. So you like kind of vibe with it. You know what I'm saying? I will say this, the, the rhymes are weak on this song. So I do see why people might have rated it a little lower because they kind of hold, they kind of hold logic to like stronger rhyme patterns. And this is literally just one word, one syllable rhymes. Bro, the beat is so fresh. Honestly, Slick. Honestly. Y'all are feeling like six. Y'all are feeling seven and a half for this. What are y'all? F- I'm giving it like a six and a half. And Slick, I do with I do fuck with the butt because it's like the butt is like so not passive aggressive, but it's so like carefree. But I don't care what you say, I'm gonna do it my way. You know? Kabir six and a half, Fritz five. I can understand the low rating, but I can also understand a slightly higher rating. Depends on what you're looking for. Because if you're looking for a vibe. This is it. But if you're looking for if you're looking for like deeper logic, this is not going to be it. But logic is like, I'm going to do it my way, regardless of what you rate it. You random person on the Internet on some random guy that I follow on Instagram. Did y'all know that? I like every song more than I did the first time that I heard it. Yo, if Drake followed me, I would put OVO in every single username that I have. It would be OVO Ernest. My entire theme that y'all are watching right now, it would just be black and gold with with the owl in the background. I might not even stream for y'all because I might think I might be better than y'all at that point. And I'm like, fuck y'all. I'm switching up on everybody. Even the first fam, I'm switching. Not the first fam. You know you could call me when nobody picking up. When it feel like don't nobody in the world give a fuck. Call me five, six, four, four, two. Hit me up. Let me tell you how I feel about call me. This is a better version of that 1-800 suicide song. It's, it's more real to me. It's not so real written to be a radio track and written to get that, you know, to get that recognition for being what it is. This is more like intimate. The same sentiment, you know, call me, call someone if you need help. But because he's saying call me directly, there's way more emotion for me. I know sometimes shit can get crazy and out of control. Addiction's like a mud bath without a bar of soap. In mm. other words, it's impossible to stay clean. Constantly comparing yourself to others and they shit. When did it become a rat race? When did we decide to compare ourselves to other people and where they're at in their timeline? And it's because society tells us to do that. You know, we're living in a society. And no matter where you've been or where you're going, you know you can call me. So good, bro. Five, Six, four, four, two. Hit me up, call me. I fuck with it. So good. I like this song a lot. How are we feeling about Call Me? All four of these songs are better than, like, they aged better than they did when I heard them for the first time. Call Me is a vibe. It's probably an eight for me. Seven and a half, eight. Again, I believe, not, I, I didn't, I did not believe Logic the first time on the suicide track, but I connected more with this. I feel like sometimes I'm so, I'm so like, Hi, like self-aware so whenever i hear music that sounds like it's written for exactly the intention that it's supposed to have i i it takes me out of songs like that because i'm self-aware of the fact that it's being written for the for the audience that it's being written for it's not like it's not an organic track where it's just gonna pick up attention because people connect with it you know what i'm saying it's gonna pick up inorganic attention because of the subject matter that it is. That's how I felt about the Logic track with the with the Alyssa Cara. Um, but this one right here is an organic, like it connects with me. Now, every track from here on out, I have not heard yet. So, so far, based off what I have heard, I'm fucking with the mixtape. It's not trying to do too much. It's not overly complicated. It's simple. It's repetitive at certain points, yes, but I'm kind of liking that with the mixtape because every song is like that. So it's not like one is standing out as repetitive over the other. All right, next up, inside, Cynthia Erivo. Never heard of her. Don't know anything about her or her voice. Let's go. Oh, that's dirty. That hi-hat and the clap is crazy. The flute reminds me of um the flute reminds me of mask off in terms of like the octave that it is. It's like on the lower side. So it's not like bright and happy, you know? I'm feeling depressed, I'm feeling like less, like I'm not my best. Anxiety got me, I'm stressed. Feel like I just can't escape from the dark, but I'm doing my part. Scared I'm a drop from the scared I'm gonna be the one to do it too. Fuck that He said, I'm scared that I'm gonna die, and I'm scared I'm gonna be the one to do it. This is what I'm talking about. This this is this is why people fell in love with Logic because of the vulnerability that he expresses on the mic. And I kind of think that that's why people didn't like his like middle albums. I think that's why I I kind of was lackluster about Confessions of a Dangerous Mind because the title track 
was like this. I was expecting that sound and subject matter for the entire thing and I got nothing of it other than the title track. I think that's why I was like a little disappointed in that album. But this is fire right here. But they want what they want, how they want it, and that shit just drains you. 2018 in Pittsburgh, wanna slip my wrist, but I don't deserve that. Did he really do that? You don't even realize the effect that you have on me? On all the artists. Because all y'all wanna do is get, get, get. Y'all don't ever like appreciate us for who is it. Or he's writing this from the point of, oh shit, is he writing this from the, from the point of view of Mac Miller? But that's not how Mac went out first off. RIP. He might be writing this from the point of view of every artist. Could you imagine the, the, uh, the amount of pressure that you're under at that level? But on the inside, on the inside, to the rivers and the lakes, I was used to, mm. because now it's waterfalls. Are y'all realizing that that's Don't Go Chasing Waterfalls from TLC? That's such a, that's such a dope line. Is it me or does this have heavy anxiety, anxiety vibes off everybody? Yeah, because it's, it's like, it's that's it's what he's talking about. He's talking about the internal struggle that he does, that the world doesn't see. This is nice. All right, how are we feeling? Those strings are super nice, super emotional. I'm trying to think of like how I feel about it. It's it's up there. It's like an eight for me. Just got here. How's the album so far? Five of the the first five tracks are singles that were all released already. But Inside is probably the best album, the song out of all of them for sure. Lyrically, the the feature did a solid job too. I feel like Vaccine, Get Up, My Way, Call Me. The production was very not lackluster, but it was very unpolished, and that was kind of the vibe. Um, but Inside sounds much more polished in terms of uh, the way the the way the the beat sounds. So far, so good. I fuck with it. Next up. Flawless. Baby girl, you're flawless. You're flawless. She she oh, can that beat crazy. Okay. That beat crazy. This song was leaked, by the way. Mark, I do not listen to any leaked music ever. I want to hear what the artist intended. I don't want to hear some super crazy compressed leak track. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, this beat is crazy. I like the melody again. I mean, Logic's not a singer, clearly. That's not his forte. He's got a he's got a decent enough singing voice where it doesn't sound bad on the mic. Like I can listen to it. I like his I like his hooks. But the dude can write a melody though. Finna take up your chonies, break it down, roll it down, baby go make a movie, make a movie. Hate his talk, but that go through me. I'ma play the field, and you ain't got no man right. The cadence is crazy, that man right, man right. Like that's that's dope. I like that. I mean, there's no lyrics to break down here at all. So we're just vibing. Ain't fuck around with no stress. I give it a pipe, no less. Cause she flawless. She say she can take all this. I like the flawless in the background. I like that shit. That was crazy. Brain melting is a very good way to describe these. It's like it's just mellowing you out. Like he could be saying whatever, but these melodies are like so good that you don't even care, you know? Oh, you thought I was done? I didn't think you were done at all because this album, the song's four minutes and we're only two minutes through. What do you mean? Oh, you thought I was done? No. I think I got another hit again. Light switch. Yeah, I turn it on like a light switch. My okay. That is not a good bar. Cause I'm on like a light switch and I turn her on like a light switch. Logic that doesn't rhyme. I know you know it doesn't rhyme, Bobby, but I gotta point it out, it's my job. Don't unfollow me, I'm just doing my job. Fine, nobody else, yeah, she too mild. I can't call it, see into me. The only one a good girl who give a fuck less about all this. She say she can take all Clean, this bro. Flawless. In the background. Bro, so clean. How we feeling? Production right there was crazy. Subject that matter of the track was actually pretty good. Um, I wasn't know if I, I didn't know if I was going to be feeling logic making like a a pickup line track or like talking about like sexual things. I wouldn't know if I was going to be feeling that, but it was it was better than I thought it was going to be. It might be because I've never heard logic talk about that, but I do like the uh, the carefree nature of the track. You know what I'm saying? It's like we might not be anything more than what we're going to be tonight. But either way, we're gonna get down because you're flawless. And that is a, it's a vibe. The whole thing, the whole album, that's all it is. That's like a seven for me, seven, eight. What are y'all feeling? Y'all are feeling nines, eights, eight, nine, seven for Vex, seven and a half for Psycho. I when, when I did the songs originally, I didn't know if I was gonna like these all together because they all had an individual sound. And none of them, none of them sounded like they went together. But now as an album, I don't mind it so much. All right, let's see what the skit's about. It's a stupid skit and it's only 50 seconds. Let's take a gander. It's a stupid skit. Do you usually walk down dark alleyways at nighttime? I'm gonna rob you. 
Too late. Not fast enough, bitch. Give me your purse. How high was he when he wrote this skit? What was that? Well, he was zooted 100% cloud nine mesosphere. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yes. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck that was. He might be, he might have been the first dude to step foot on Mars. That's how high he was when he made that. Huh? If I download this album, I am deleting that one. Clearly. All right. Next up, theme for the people. Do you crave breakfast tacos, queso, and fajitas? Mama Margie's, a 24-hour Mexican restaurant located across from South Park Mall. Click the link to submit your application and start working with Mama Margie's. Shout out Mama Margie's, though. That shit is tasty. That shit is good as the... Yo, that should have been the skit, if I'm being honest. If that was the skit in the middle of this album, fire. Mom Margie's is an icon in San Antonio. And that bitch keeps raising her prizes all the fucking time. I need, a, I need you to stop raising your prices like that. I'm not going to stop going there, but you're putting me out. How we feeling about Mama Margie's 1 to 10? I'm saying, y'all y'all know the deal and y'all haven't even been here. All right, I can't believe that just happened. All right, theme for the people. Fuck. This a new generation. Push up the style, I'm regenerating. I be talking to God when I come down and shit ain't no way of life. Now some people make music, but I make a state. I get introspective on a record with a message deep in the lyrics. But after a while, this shit get depressing. I mean, I'd rather be rapping on breaks, but whatever it takes to get to the young. Mm -hmm. If a fucker you came up, I run up like 10 out of 10 just to show you some love. Mm -hmm. And as long as you keep killing shit, keep at the crib watching Bebop. This is nice right here. That th 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 like that flow style from Logic. Kind of like his bread and butter. Writing rhymes in my book and I'm pumping that heat rock shit. I switch up the style with a hootis. No ceilings like winning, no knob, bitch, I'm ruthless. Hey. Yo, so far so good on this album, son. I like the entire vibe. Are y'all feeling that? When it comes to the message of the song, I get what he's saying. He's talking to the black men and, you know, like, like be the kings that you could, that you can be. So, and, and then he had the police brutality or, you know, uh, forgot the exact lyric, but obviously it's touching on, what's it called? There's a, there's a term for it. But when it comes to like embracing somebody's hurt, I kind of like call me better because it's more of a vibe and it actually has a hook. This is good though. Theme for the people. Oh, okay. Now I get the name of the title, theme for the people. All right. That's cool. One to ten. Uh, this is like a this is like a seven for me because I like this flow from Logic. But yeah, y'all are thinking seven, six, seven, six. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Where at about where I'm where I'm at too. Uh, next up, we got God might judge. Five and a half minutes. Okay. Hey, this one for all the ladies out there. All my girls, yeah, they know the deal. I'm a keep it a hundred. Oh I'm man. I'm real. I'm a keep it real. Nice I'm for her, nice for what? Don't matter how you feel. Don't say not to do it my way. I Trying to cuddle with your girl, you're sleeping on your own. <laughs> fucking with me, we here for you. When I get home, I'll be the one for you. Yo, I like this. This is like. I like, I like the sample for sure. I think that's my favorite shit about it. The sample is crazy, but definitely the Drake vibe that y'all were talking about. Nice for what? 100% nice for what? She love it when I make a call. So my compound, she ain't got a voice. Well, my weed on the dash. You could call me Rolls Royce. I'm gonna throw you on a different table and get to the feast. I don't know, she mm. might not be the one. That is most definitely something that Drake would write. I'm not gonna judge you for you for who you were in the past. You you got a past and I do too. We're perfect for each other. Got a lot of gear, got a lot of gear. I just fucked around and dropped four M's on my crib. Yes, I got the roller desk. I'm going through a cycle. I ain't really want uh, but I'm not. I just want to take a moment, tell you that you're worth it, you're perfect. God might judge you, but the boy won't. This is nice, bro. I like this track right here. If you ain't ever had a man tell you that you're worth it, then I will. Oh. Yeah, you ain't got no title, but I don't believe you want a man and want it to be me. Escape from L.A.? I do, but I need to be free. That's what I was trying to think of. I was trying to think of what beat switched up was that. Maybe I'm scared. Mm. Maybe I'm scared. Cause it's been so you know the boy will satisfy you like a toy won't hey no God, God, God might touch it, but Damn, it's and won't. back into the beat. You know like Alright, that's the end of that song. God might judge. That might be the best song on the album for me. That one and call me might be my favorites on the album. Uh the beat switch up was crazy. I like the kind of vulnerability, like will you be there for me? I'm gonna be there for you. That right there is probably like an eight for me. 0.5 point deduction because you don't like talking intros. I can see that, but I kind of feel like it's almost required for this because Logic doesn't normally talk about this. I like the length of it because the beat goes from beat number one, switches over to beat number two, which also comes with a flow switch and then switches back to beat number one. 
So I'm vibing with it. Seven and a half, eight for me on that one. Probably eight actually. But again, so far, besides the stupid squit, skit quite literally in the intro, I would probably not skip any of these. These are all bops in their own right. Next up, See You Space Cowboy. Is this song about Jeffrey Bezos? Hell yes. <laughs> <laughs> That bitch goes hard. Uh, black with another 25? Grammy nominated number one to throw. Don't need a but deep down I wanna throw. I'm going to fit, watch me throw in the fit and get lit like a Mevo Knievel. Just me and my Bro, this is crazy. This is a hype song right here. I like this. This is super hype. Who give a shit? I just spit about this that I know and I love. All A to but T, I put nothing above. Like that thing. Ooh. Did y'all hear that? But T, I put nothing above. Oh, that's hard. My favorite part about the track so far, his delivery, his flow is aggressive. The beat is aggressive, but there's just that one note. It's like, bin, bin, in the back. And then obviously the chopper sound right there. That was fire. Hard. Ooh. Oh my God. Don't give a damn about status or who the bad is. I just want to be the raddest dad is and you don't give a fuck when you don't have no family and you fucking your mom turned to the bottle. And then I like that. He's, I like that. He spells his name. Skeet pop, 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 skeet. So, what Paralaz meant there was skeet pop. Uh, but yeah, this is probably the hardest song in the album by far, and it's crazy to be like the second to last album. Or second to last song. And then when we try, what they tell us, what they tell us, what they tell us, to live more realistically. Hey, fuck that, get the fuck back. Bro, the man said the media and lie, the media lied to us. They tell me we can be whatever we want to be, but then when we try, they tell us to dream a little more realistic. That's so hard, bro. Yeah, he in that aggressive. I'm like fucking mad. He's not mad, but he's just spitting facts with a lot of energy. Hey, fuck that, get the fuck back, fuck rapping, all that noise. The fact that he says fuck all that noise and then there's no there's no there's no production behind it after he says that. Fuck that, get the fuck back, fuck rapping, all that noise. Growing up how I grew up really Dog Oh a B switch up Bro, his ability to sample is out of this world. I'm sure that six and him, like I I know six took a lot of it. But Logic is always cold produced. On on stream, he makes beats live. Like he took just that one part of that sample and then turned it into a whole separate section of the instrumental. Yeah, Isaac, this is probably close to 44 more. Stylistically what? Yeah. But wanna let it bottle up like everything's fine. Flow bomb like a terrorist, never careless. I got so like the flow that I've been writing are so hot, you would think that I'm a terrorist because of how bomb they are. <laughs> My bitch bad, stay with money like an heiress. Time with my wife and my son, what I cherish. I just woke up one day rapping again, you know what I'm saying? So I invited all the homies out here in the middle of nowhere. Off the cuff, just for fun, just for the summer, just for all the homies. See, like, that's what I like right here. This does sound very De La Soulish, Pixie. You're right. This is, this is why the album has the vibe that it does, because there's literally no pressure. He's making whatever he wants to make. He just decided, you know what, I'm going to start rapping again. And let's do it. That's when artists do their best work is whenever there's no pressure from a label. There's no pressure to sound like this or sound like this. That's why Lupe Fiasco, like during that portion with Atlantic, that's why the work suffered because food and liquor and the cool were exactly how he wanted them to be. And they were his best projects. They're, they're going to go down as icons, iconic, iconic pieces of work. Yo, should we do that on stream one day? Like just do the albums that I fuck with and break them down the way that I listen to them. Would that be cool? But yeah, son. And then Atlantic got a hold of his sound and they wanted him to be more radio friendly. He was successful. They wanted him to try to be more successful by sounding like something that he's not. And then that's when we got Lasers. And Lasers was a good album, but you can hear the influence that the record label had over it. Because it wouldn't have sounded like that if it was just Lou. Looking back on it, Lasers is a good album. Um, It's just the production is, you could tell they were trying to force him into poppy rap, I guess, or like radio friendly rap. And I feel like that's why Logic decided to retire, quote unquote, and then come back with a fresh mind. You know, he 
is retiring from mainstream le record label rap. And then he's gonna make whatever the hell he wants to make. And that's when we're gonna get, I expect Logic's albums coming up to naturally be good just because it's what he wants to make. All right, how are we feeling about Space Cowboy? Space Cowboy is the best song in the album, in my opinion. Um, a two minute outro, which is fine because it's kind of like, it's kind of like Kanye did on the two minute out. It's actually a 10 minute outro almost on a, on College Dropout. In terms of this track, it's a ten. Thanks, Ricardo. 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 Did you hear the inflection of the not even realistic voice? Even the inflection of the voice got tired of saying it. At the end, she was like, "Thanks, Ricardo. Thanks, Ricardo. Thanks, Ricardo." But yeah, best song on the album for me. In the context of the album, it's a 10 out of 10. In the context of Logic's uh, uh, catalog, it's not a 10 out of 10, it's probably eight out of 10. I would still put some tracks on Under Pressure above this. Gang Related is gonna be above this. Soul Food is gonna be above this. But for this album, this is a 10 out of 10, for sure. Ah shit, I hope I ain't too late, bruh. Matthew, we're on the last track of the Logic album. So I would say you're about as late as you could possibly be, but I appreciate you being here. All right. Everybody, on to the last track of the day and last track of Logic's album, Untitled. I always find Untitled kind of funny because the title is Untitled. So it's not really Untitled, it's Titled Untitled, you know? Hey, yo, rapping just a rap, what the fuck happened? Oh to my me? God. I took a hold of my soul, but I made it. Hold on, hold on. This straight up gangstar production, this 90s New York style Brooklyn production. This is nice. He said mainstream almost took my soul, but I made it back. Hey yo, rapping just to rap, what the fuck happened to that? Mainstream took a hold of my soul, but I made it back. Yeah, you know we bringing that heat like AU. Back in the day, <laughs> I drove the Impalas with cast tab bodies. Me and my family rolling deep like body. Word of God, I get over God, it going on and on and on. In the studio till like five in the morning. He said, I need the, I need the mic like thirsty bitches need the follow. <laughs> talk that talk. I get the pussy wetter than my hollow, hollow, ho. Step into me, it's time to rest. I'm beyond blessed. Greatest MC, put it to rest. Why, right yeah. Bro, yes, sir. So is the irony that I'm a thirsty bitch? Cause he, I like my followage, I'm a thirsty bitch. I normally don't like fade outs on albums or on songs. But this this song was perfect for a fade out, especially considering it's the last one of the album. So how do we feel about the song one through 10? And then how do we feel about the album one through 10? This song right here is like an eight for me because I fuck, this is like classic boom bap from Logic. And I like the message of the song saying that he like made it out and, and he's here doing the thing for us and for him only now. For me, the album is a seven. Album seven and a half, eight. Song is an eight. Album 8.5 for what it is, it's an eight. I honestly wasn't expecting to, to like the album as much as I did because the first four singles, I didn't know what the vibe was gonna be. But there is no vibe of the album. The album is just a vibe. So for that, it's, it's like a seven, seven to eight. You gotta check the vibe check for the vibe to check with you. Exactly, Matthew. Couldn't have said it better myself or any less confusing than that. 